Hello there. So, uh, last night it emerged that uh, Arsenal did actually make a bid of 30 million pounds for Luis Suarez and it was obviously rejected by Liverpool. Now these rumours about Arsenal bidding for Luis Suarez started I think about a week ago when uh, all betting was suspended, all the bettings were suspended uh, with this uh, transfer. Obviously when I saw this I took this with a pinch of salt but yesterday credible sources again uh, BBC Sport Chris Bascombe from The Telegraph have confirmed that uh, a 30 million pound bid was rejected by Liverpool for Luis Suarez. Now, uh, uh, I made this video to to share what I think about this. So there are many theories about this bid. Obviously, I think uh, whatever the intentions, whether genuine or not, from Arsenal, uh, it's doomed to failure. Because uh, even if Luis Suarez himself would actually uh, wish to go to Arsenal, it would be very difficult for him. Uh, <laughs> Or else, I think, uh, if he did go to Arsenal, he would have to... He was complaining about the media harassment. But this time, if he ends up at Arsenal, I think it's not media harassment, but he would have to go everywhere with the bulletproof gillet. Because... Uh, it would be really the, the kind of... Uh, he wouldn't be able to do more to, to take us for fools, Liverpool fans. Because once again, his theory about uh, media harassment is complete bullshit. I already said this, I think, a thousand times now. But uh, the thing that bothers me with, with regards to this £30 million pound bid is that it's us, the Liverpool fans, we are being taken for fools from all sides. Now, considering Liverpool's point of view, I understand the, the nature of the game, of the transfer market. It's, it's a poker game uh, where each party is trying to gain the maximum. So, obviously, Liverpool's stance will always be a not for sale in the event that Luis Suarez does leave so that they get the maximum price. But what bothers me with Liverpool right now, like I said before in my video, in my last video, is that uh, transfer activity seem to have reached a dead end, actually, right now. We got these four players relatively quickly, but again, we sold Andy Carroll and John Joe Shelby, so the net span is zero. Once again, it's zero. And it seems, it's, it's the sentiment that I have right now, is that no more transfer activity until we know what happens with Luis Suarez. So it's actually the, the spending again of FSG. Will they spend the money or not? Because so far they have spent nothing. Say whatever you want, they have spent nothing. The net spend is zero. And we need, whether Luis Suarez stays or not, Liverpool need to buy, at the very least, another centre-back. And uh, probably an attacking midfielder, but also at left-back, I think we are short. And... Uh, even uh, the central, the defensive midfield position, we are short also with regards to this position. So, once again, what bothers me with regards to this 30 million pound bid, there are theories saying that Arsenal are doing this only to 
get Real Madrid moving because their their main transfer target is Gonzalo Higuain, the Real Madrid striker, and uh, things have stalled a little bit for them with regards to this deal. And with all the rumors about Suarez wanting to leave for Real Madrid, theories are suggesting that probably Arsenal are have just bid for Luis Suarez in order to force Real Madrid's hand. But uh, whatever the theories, at the end of the day, it's all about the Liverpool fans, us like me and you. Because I don't like it when we are being taken for fucking tools. We only want what's best for Liverpool. And obviously, FSG pay attention to the accounts of the club. I understand once again, it's, like I said again, it's still early days, but they need to spend more money. What, what is worrying for me is that it seems that they have put everything to a full stop until we know what happens with Luis Suarez. Does this mean that if Luis Suarez stays, no more significant signings? will be made. I will be very, very unhappy if this proves to be the case. So, whatever happens, like I said again before, I would, I would really like this Luis Suarez situation to get resolved in one way or another, or another quickly, because the more this drags on, the more it's to the detriment of the club if he stays very good, but if he goes, put in your fucking transfer request as quickly as possible. And Real Madrid also, we all know the tactics, trying to drive the price down. They are definitely, I think, interested in Luis Suarez, but I don't think that uh, they want to pay the asking price. Which is quite a logical thing. Uh, with regards to the Henrik Mkhitaryan deal, Liverpool are actually maybe doing the same thing as Real Madrid are doing for Luis Suarez. They've dragged their heels and now we have lost out to Borussia Dortmund. But my main worry again with regards to Henrik Mkhitaryan, did Liverpool really want this player? This is my main worry. Because... Uh, did they actually, maybe they were in for him? Uh, the rumors about Mehitayan started when, uh, a few weeks ago now, when actually at the same time that Luis Suarez was claiming how unhappy he was with England and pushing for a move abroad. But now that uh, Real Madrid haven't stepped up their interest so far, Strangely, at the same time, we have lost out on the Mkhitaryan deal. So does it mean for, uh, that uh, the Henrik Mkhitaryan deal was directly linked to the Luis Suarez deal? Who knows? Uh, anyway, the, the, the papers are reporting that Liverpool, who to believe once again with regards to this, we will never know. According to the papers, from Liverpool's point of view, the Liverpool Echo, BBC Sport, they are saying that uh, it was down to the player. The player, now apparently Henrik Mkhitaryan was not reachable. But with, with, if you pay attention to the Russian papers, uh, it's completely the opposite reason. They are saying that Henrik Mkhitaryan has waited and waited for Liverpool to... to step up their interest, uh, which has never materialized, and he was, he, because apparently from, the, from Russia, Mihitayan's first choice was Liverpool, and he's ending up at Dortmund, mainly because Liverpool haven't stepped up their interest, formally. So who to believe? In any way, me, I'm more concerned about Liverpool. More than Luis Suarez, if he stays good, but if he goes, fuck off. But uh, many concerns mainly about FSG, the Liverpool owners. Because once again, the four signings done, alright, very good, but it's not enough. Clearly not enough. 
With regards to other rumors, uh, a few days ago Liverpool were linked to an Italian under-21 international, Jorginho, of Brazilian uh, nationality, but uh, opting for, for Italy. He plays at Elas Verone. He's a central attacking midfielder. Uh, strong rumours that Liverpool were were in for him for about £7 million pounds or euros. 21 years of age. Once again, this player, if, if this proves to be true, he's young. Another young player for the future. Uh, so, this is a concern also for me. No real experienced players linked to Liverpool so far. So, there you are. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, so apparently, uh, the bid from Arsenal wasn't just rumours, it has been confirmed that they did actually bid for Luis Suarez. But Jesus Christ, seriously, £30 million pounds for Luis Suarez from Arsenal. And uh, one thing that Chris Bascombe, who I rate quite highly as a reporter, from the Telegraph, Chris Bascombe. I rate him highly because he used to, to work for the Liverpool Echo and he was the one right back uh, in uh, 2004 when Gerard Houllier was sacked from Liverpool. He came up very on top with the exclusive that Rafa Benitez was the one uh, replacing Gerard Houllier which proved 100% correct. And from then on, I really rate Chris Bascombe. I think he really has some uh, strong sources at the club. I also rate Tony Barrett from the Times, and I usually pay attention when uh, the BBC Sport report uh, the likes of Ben Smith and Phil McNulty, the chief sport editor of the BBC Sport. So Chris, coming back to Chris Bascombe again, he, he's he's. Uh, I will put a link if you want in the comments section. In the comments section, sorry, uh, with uh, of his article about the 30 million pound bid from Arsenal. There's a particular phrase in this in his report that I found quite interesting and s struck my attention, where he says that this is where the club Liverpool is finding himself. It is finding itself. We are being taken for a mid-table club, no Champions League, so clubs like Arsenal are making a, a fool of ourselves, Liverpool, making £30 million pound bids for the likes of Luis Suarez. So this is quite frustrating and very sad, I think, so once again this proves that FSG, Brendan Rodgers and all the group, the group, as Brendan Rodgers says, really need to step up because it's a matter of urgency again, this fourth place for this season. And to get fourth place, uh, we really, Liverpool really need to sign more proven quality players. So that's what I wanted to say. Please comment, let me know what you think, and uh, please subscribe also. So we'll have to see what happens. Luis Suarez, let's hope that this transfer saga gets resolved quickly, one way or another. And that Liverpool transfer activity uh, steps up quickly again. Alright? So I'll leave you there. Take care guys.